The Indian Navy has once again chosen German submarines, after more than four decades. This decision comes as part of the high-stakes Project 75i competition, which aimed to procure next-generation submarines to enhance India's underwater warfare capabilities. The competition for Project 75i saw bids from multiple countries, including France, Russia, South Korea, Germany, and Spain. However, not all contenders met the stringent requirements set by the Indian Navy. The French, Russian, and South Korean submarines were disqualified early in the process due to their inability to meet the critical technological specifications. This left only two finalists in the race, Germany's ThyssenKrupp marine systems with its Type 214 submarine and Spain's Navantia with the S-80 Plus submarine. Both Germany and Spain made it to the final round because their submarines featured a non-negotiable requirement. AIP is a game-changer for diesel-electric submarines. Unlike conventional diesel-electric subs that must surface every two to three days to recharge their batteries, AIP-equipped submarines can remain submerged for weeks at a time. This makes them far stealthier and significantly enhances their operational endurance. However, the Indian Navy specified that the AIP system must be operationally proven, meaning it should have a demonstrated record of working successfully in real-world conditions. Germany's AIP technology is extremely silent and stealthy. Unlike nuclear submarines, which have a loud reactor, fuel cell AIP submarines are nearly silent. With no moving parts in the fuel cell AIP system, vibrations are eliminated, reducing the risk of sonar detection. In contrast, Spain's S-80 Plus submarine utilizes an ethanol-based AIP system. However, at the time of bidding, this system had only been tested in a surface submarine and had never undergone operational testing while submerged. This lack of full operational validation ultimately led to its disqualification. In terms of operational endurance, conventional diesel-electric submarines need to surface every two to three days, whereas a fuel cell AIP submarine can remain submerged for two to three weeks, providing a significant tactical advantage. When compared to other AIP technologies, Sweden's Stirling engine-based AIP has moving parts that generate vibrations. While France's MESMA AIP system is less efficient and louder than Germany's fuel cell AIP, further solidifying Germany's lead in this technology. One of the biggest criticisms of India's decision to select the Type 214 submarine is that it is based on the older Type 209 design. Whereas the S-80 Plus is a newer submarine developed in the late 2010s and 2020s, featuring more modern systems. However, the decision wasn't just about having the latest technology, it was about proven reliability. The Type 214 has a well-established track record, already in service with navies in South Korea, Turkey, Greece, and Portugal, and has been successfully deployed in real-world naval operations. In contrast, the S-80 Plus faced serious design failures, with its first submarine, Isaac Perel, requiring a major redesign because it was too heavy to float. Given these developmental issues, the Indian Navy was unwilling to take a risk on an unproven platform. Another crucial factor in this deal is India's involvement in co-manufacturing the submarines, marking the first time a Type 214 is being built outside Germany, with significant Indian participation. The Indian variant will be scaled up to 3,000 tons, making it the largest Type 214 ever built. Production will take place at Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders, with up to 60% indigenous content. Germany's victory in securing this contract wasn't solely due to superior technology, it was also a political move. India has been classified as a special partner for defense deals, allowing for faster approvals, which helped Germany secure the agreement. Additionally, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz personally lobbied for ThyssenKrupp marine systems during his visit to India in 2024. ThyssenKrupp marine systems, facing financial challenges, saw this deal as critical for its long-term survival which also benefits India, as the company may be more willing to transfer key submarine technologies. Meanwhile, 
India's Defense Research and Development Organization is working on an indigenous AIP system based on phosphoric acid fuel cell technology. Trials are expected in 2025 to 2026, but it is not yet operationally proven. While future Indian submarines may be retrofitted with DRDO's AIP once fully developed, Project 75I required a ready-to-deploy system, necessitating the selection of a foreign AIP. Ultimately, India's decision to choose the German Type 214 under Project 75I was driven by strategic, political, and industrial factors. It offered a proven AIP system, superior stealth capabilities, a low acoustic signature for survivability, and higher indigenous content through local production, along with the potential for technology transfers from TKMS. While some argue that India could have opted for a more modern submarine, operational reliability and readiness took priority over cutting-edge, but unproven designs. Germany's fuel cell AIP technology, political lobbying, and India's long-term naval strategy all contributed to making the Type 214 the Indian Navy's submarine of choice after 44 years.